In today's video, we're gonna talk about the best blender brushes or brush packs to create all sorts of awesome damage and weathering effects on your models when sculpting. Whether you wanna add scratches, dents, cracks, or any other kind of wear and tear, these brushes will help you take your sculpts to the next level, I think. First, we have a collection called Simply Damage Brushes which offers 57 unique sculpting brushes that come with their own custom settings and convenient preview to get you started. So diving deeper into what the package offers, expect to get 17 brushes for scars and holes, 20 for cracks, and 20 for general damage, which any of you could use, no matter if you are a beginner or a professional. You just have to select your custom brush and get to sculpting. In addition, each brush comes with custom textures, settings, and thumbnails, which are all properly and conveniently configured for Blender. And to top it off, as usual, it is simple to use, so all you have to do is to import it, and you can find these brushes in the Draw Brushes tab. And from there, think of them as just the regular brushes inside Blender. Just select your brush, adjust the settings, and you are ready to go. Moving on, damage can be different for different materials. That's why we have a collection called Metal Damage Brushes, which can be especially useful for slick metallic models. The Metal Damage Brushes is a pack that contains over 55 Metal Damage Brushes, which can be perfect for adding realistic damage on metal since it is different than organic tissue, for example. And it works for multiple use cases. There are many different metallic objects that you can use it on. Whether you are working on medieval characters, I mean their outfits or armors, or post-apocalyptic environments, or damaged equipment, this pack has you covered, I think. And just like the previous pack, this one also comes with custom textures, settings, and thumbnails, which are properly configured to integrate within Blender's stock of brushes. Moving away from organic and solid stuff, now let's talk about cloth. With a collection called Blender Torn Cloth Brushes, which offers over 57 brushes featuring individual textures based on real photo scans of various materials like cloth, jeans, t-shirts, bags, and other damaged type of cloth. These brushes can be good for adding intricate tear details on your cloth models, making them look authentically worn and damaged, without having to do it manually, which I think can be tedious. And as usual, you can always customize the textures, settings, and thumbnails and properly configure them to integrate easily with Blender's stock of brushes. Generally speaking, these brushes can be good for character outfits, props, or environment details. Next, we're gonna talk about a special collection helping you sculpt wounds and scars. This one is a collection of over 34 individual brushes to help you with one thing and that is to add physical paint to your creatures and characters. Just kidding. And it should be noted that each brush features its own unique settings as well as a convenient preview, which is really great to make the sculpting process easier, especially when you are in the midst of it. Moving on to something a bit more general, we have Damage Maker, which is a large set of brushes made for the purpose of creating damage effects on various scenes like metal, stone, skin, and other materials. And when I tell you the package is large, I mean it, because it has a whopping 240 blender brushes utilizing 60 different alphas in multiple variations, which can speed up your workflow. The also, the provided alphas are versatile and compatible with Blender and other 3D applications that support alphas as well, like ZBrush for example. And to make it even better, they come in high resolution and they are available in both PSD and JPEG and JPG formats, giving you the option to choose which is pretty nice to have. This pack also includes a PDF tutorial made specifically for Blender, as well as an index of all the brushes for easy selection, which is a set of brushes made for sculpting rust, damage, bumps, roughness, and aging effects on various surfaces. This pack offers 300 Blender brushes, utilizing 75 alphas in multiple variations, to simplify your workflow. So whether you are detailing armors, weapons, machines, damaged iron, or even rotten wood, this pack I think covers all you need for achieving those worn and weathering effects. And just like the previous pack, which was made by the same creator, the 75 alphas are of high resolution and available in PSD and JPEG formats, which can be used for other software as well. Now, let's move on to something a little painful with this collection called simply 
wounds and scars, which I think is a must have for any sculptor or 3D character creator because it can make your life much more easier. For example, and mainly, you can use it to add skin damage on any character you want, whether it be human, animal, you name it. And this pack contains 300 blender brushes specifically made for sculpting wounds, scars, burns, and more. Which ensures, I think, having all the details to create realistic looking characters. And it also comes with 60 high resolution alphas and these brushes can definitely improve your workflow, especially with the multiple brush variations that can help you achieve your desired results. And last but not least, we have the Form and Decay Maker, which I think is a fantastic collection that can help you shape deformations and decay on lots of things. And it works for all sorts of stuff like fruit, armor, and soft stuff like cushions and sport balls, or even skin. This pack got you covered, especially when you need to beat things up or to make them look old. And as usual, it is quite a large library with over 240 blender brushes and 60 different alphas with plenty of options. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this collection of brushes in Blender, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.